Telematics devices and sensors are connected to various wires, which are part of different automotive circuits. In every case, for instance, vehicle tracking devices have to be connected to the vehicle's battery feed, from where it will receive steady power supply, whether the vehicle is in use or not. Most tracking devices need to be connected to the vehicle accessory circuit or the ignition circuit so the device can sense the vehicle ignition status to determine whether the vehicle is in use or not. It's also common to connect relays or immobilizers to the vehicle ignition power feed or the fuel pump power wire to allow users to immobilize vehicles remotely using their mobile phones. Knowing how to test and identify these wires in automotive systems is a basic requirement for installing vehicle tracking devices on vehicles. In the previous lesson, I introduced you to two important principles employed in wire testing. I mean the edge return principle and the concept of event triggered current flow adopted in automotive circuits design. In this lesson, you will learn how these two principles are employed in wire testing and, and identification. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the battery's positive feed wire from the battery positive terminal, the negative ground wire from the battery negative terminal, the accessory circuit wire from the vehicle ignition key, the ignition circuit wire from the vehicle ignition key, and the positive feed wire powering the fuel pump. I will also demonstrate how to identify the can high and can low wires, which becomes necessary when working with devices that support data retrieval from vehicle can bus network. To conduct the test described in this lesson, you will need digital multimeter to read circuit voltages. You may require screwdrivers, socket spanners, and air wrench to gain access to the wire harness we will be conducting tests on. On the multimeter, select a suitable DC voltage in the range of the automobile voltage rating. You must set your multimeter to a DC voltage that is higher than the overall voltage of the automotive system you are working on. If you are running your test on a car or an SUV, bear in mind these are 12 volt systems. You can set your multimeter to DC 20 volts or higher. But when working on trucks, which are 24 volt systems, you need to set your multimeter to a higher voltage, like 200 volts. Check the integrity of the multimeter by measuring the vehicle battery voltage directly on the battery terminals. Ensure the voltage reading on the multimeter is the correct voltage rating for the vehicle. If you are getting a negative voltage value, it means your measuring probes are of reversed polarity. To correct this, simply swap the multimeter probes. Confirm that the vehicle chassis is properly grounded. To confirm this, Find a clean, bare metal surface on the vehicle chassis and place the negative probe on the bare metal surface while the positive probe is still in direct contact with the battery positive terminal. Ensure the voltage reading on the multimeter is of the same value as that measured while the negative probe was placed directly on the battery negative terminal. 